Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again, and today I'm going to show you how to install Raspbian on your Raspberry Pi 1, 2, 3, or your Raspberry Pi 0. This is a super simple, easy way to install Raspbian operating system on your Raspberry Pi. You do not need any other third-party applications except for extraction software, which usually comes with Windows. If not, you can download 7-Zip or WinRAR. If you're new to the Raspberry Pi, this is the easiest way to get started. So let me show you how it's done. We're going to open up a browser and we're going to go to raspberrypi.org. We're going to navigate to downloads, noobs, and we're going to download the noobs folder here. Now this comes as a zipped archive so you'll need to unzip it after it's done downloading. That's why I mentioned you're going to need extraction software like 7-Zip or WinRAR. You can download the torrent if you're used to downloading torrents, or you can download the zip file. Just click on it and it will start downloading here. Now download time will depend on your connection speed. I have already downloaded it and I have placed it in a folder on my desktop named Noobs. Now like I said before, it comes as a zipped archive. I'm going to right click, I'm going to extract. Okay, so here is my extracted folder, and inside there are all these files. I'm going to snap it over here, and I'm going to find my SD card, which I have inserted into an SD card reader on my computer. Just right click, open in a new window, and I'll snap it here. Now this has been formatted to FAT32, so it's a clean SD card, and all you're going to need to do is take all of the files from the noobs zip folder that you extracted and drag them into your SD card. Now they will be placed on the SD card. They're transferring now. I do recommend you download SD SD card formatter. I do recommend that you download SD card formatter just in case something goes wrong during the installation you can reformat your card with no problem. I'll leave the link in the description. Super simple to use, very easy and it's free. So this will allow you to format your SD card. After you install the noobs and we install Raspbian. If you inserted your SD card into another SD card reader on a PC, it would only read about 1.8 gigabytes, even though I have a 16 gigabyte SD card. So I use SD card formatter after I'm done if I just want to get rid of that image off the SD card and use my SD card for something else. I will always resort to using SD card formatter. Okay, the files are done being copied to the SD card from the noobs folder that we extracted. Now all we need to do is put the SD card in the Raspberry Pi. Make sure it is connected to either Ethernet or Wi-Fi. And we're going to move over there right now. So we are now at the Raspberry Pi. You want to make sure that you are connected to the internet. I am on Ethernet. If you have a Wi-Fi dongle or a Raspberry Pi 3, you can set up Wi-Fi through the Wi-Fi networks up here. You can also set your language and your keyboard configuration down here. Now, what Noobs does is it downloads the correct OS from the internet and installs it onto the SD card so it needs to be connected to the internet. So there are a few choices here. We have Raspbian, we have 
Open Elect, which is a Cody Entertainment Center. Uh, Data Partition, OSMC, which is another Cody or another media center for the Pi 2, and Windows 10 IoT Core. Now, this is not a Windows operating system. Windows 10 IoT Core is for developers. There is a graphical interface, but unless you are a programmer or developer, do not bother with Windows 10 IoT Core right now. I am going to install Raspbian. So we'll just click Raspbian here. And after we click install, it will start to download and install it onto the SD card. Um, it will Time will vary depending on your connection speed. So what I'm going to do is click install and I will fast forward this for you guys. Warning, this will install the selected operating system. All existing data on the SD card will be overwritten. Yes. So it is done installing. I'm going to click OK. The unit will reboot and we will be running Raspbian. So a few little things I wanted to show you before you get started. So you are now running Raspbian on your Raspberry Pi. There's a couple little things I wanted to show you here. I'm connected to Ethernet, like I said, but if you are going to connect to Wi-Fi on your Raspberry Pi 3, which has Wi-Fi built in, or you have a USB dongle, this icon here will look like a Wi-Fi symbol, and you can connect from there. Another thing is, you want to make sure your file system is expanded. So we'll go to File Manager. Just look here. Free space is 9.4 gigabytes. Sounds about right. I have a 16 gigabyte card in here, so 9.4 gigabytes. Seems good with the OS installed and everything. Next thing, we'll go to Menu, Preferences, Raspberry, Raspberry Pi Configuration. Now you can see File System. It is expanded. If this is not clickable, then you're... SD card is expanded fully. You can change your host name, interfaces, you can turn on the camera if you have a Pi camera. Performance. Now the overclock here, this is not available on the Raspberry Pi 3. I do have a tutorial on how to overclock the Raspberry Pi 3 running Raspbian. I will leave the link in the description. If you're on a Pi 1, Pi 2 or Pi 0, you will be able to choose from different overclocks here, and I highly recommend overclocking. GPU memory. Now this is the dedicated RAM to your graphics card that's built in, say GPU that's built in to the Raspberry Pi. Now it's set at 64 megabytes. The Raspberry Pi 3 and the Raspberry Pi 2 have one gigabyte of RAM, so I turn this up a bit. 128 works great for me. It helps with video playback online and everything. I'm going to click OK. This will not take effect until you reboot. I'm not going to reboot right now. So that's it guys. You are up and running Raspbian. If you go to menu, you can see all of the applications that are pre-installed. You have a full office suite here. We have internet, Games comes with Minecraft Pi built in. Accessories, your archiver, calculator, all the good stuff that a new age OS should come equipped with. If this helped you out at all, if you could, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comment or send me a private message. I will get back to you as soon as I can. There will be a Pi 3 overclock listed in the description below. And I'll also leave it in the comments for you guys so you can overclock if you're running the Raspberry Pi 3 with a Raspbian. 
Other than that, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and explore Raspbian and see if you like it. Um, I really do love Raspbian. After you run this for a little while, if you're new to the Raspberry Pi, I definitely recommend running Ubuntu Mate. Now I have tutorials on my channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Ubuntu Mate is pretty much a full Linux distro for the Raspberry Pi and on the Raspberry Pi 3 it runs amazing. So I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I hope this helped you out and have a great day.